want to live, work, fight for, and look after our fellow man. To make the world a better place to live in for the generations to come. Life takes on whatever purpose we are able to give it. We want it to take on a grand and beautiful purpose. Peter Engelhardt is a church decorator and gilder. For his work restoring the paintings in St. Leonhardt's Church near Augsburg, he uses products from Keim. Engelhardt mixes each individual shade himself and refines it with powder pigments. He belongs to the old school of church decorators and says his passion for detail and his love for the profession defines his way of working. It's important to know how a color is composed. Where does green come from, or blue? If you want to mix colors yourself, you have to understand them. You can't mix every shade in the laboratory. On site, you sometimes think, I want that color to be a bit cooler or a bit warmer. So you have to mix them on location. It may be on a grand scale, but the dry mix installation of the factory in Diedorf is about the subtlest nuances. Here, the finest inorganic pigments are stored by the hundredweight. From this diversity of colors, employees select the correct shades. Each formula is mixed quickly, routinely, and correctly. Those working here need plenty of experience and sensitivity. The inorganic pigments are mixed with fillers for the colored powder premixes of Purkristallat, Granital, and Soldalit. Approximately 20,000 tons of paint are produced each year. The powder mixes then arrive in Herbert Prestle's department. Alongside his staff in the mixing laboratory, he checks all the color formulations. But that's not all, for this is where much of the paint manufacturer's know-how comes together. They'll try anything here, including fulfilling customer requests for the most unusual colors. There are 200 standard colors, but Prestle and his team can mix any one of 20,000 special color shades at the drop of a hat. Here, the head of the lab is checking the pigment formulation created by his colleagues in the dry mix installation. By using a spatula imprint, he compares it to the reference color shade. It's also subjected to the rigorous testing of the color specialist's eye. With years of experience and training, not even the slightest deviation goes unnoticed. It's only when the colored powder comparison is correct that the paint may be mixed. The reference color shade goes back into the treasury, where all 20,000 special colors are stored. An additional 1,500 or so are added each year. It's important to match the model color tone exactly. Only then are we satisfied. The most modern technology is paired with precision and sensitivity in the wet mix installation. The paint is weighed with the highest precision. Upon customers' requests, even the smallest quantities of soldalit are produced manually. A brush out of each paint is made. And, as it contains no organic solvents, no respiratory equipment is required. And then, it's off to the warehouse. Here, it's always busy. Every regular product can be made available to the customer within 24 hours. The product range is huge. Everything from mineral interior and exterior paint to concrete repair and surface protection systems. From natural stone repair systems, mineral renders and putties to external insulating finish systems. One person keeps track of the whole operation here, Akram Malik. The employees may not understand every word the Pakistani Bavarian says, but he makes himself clear. The only question he can't answer, which is his favorite product? All the products are my favorites. I've been here for 23 years and I love everything from Kaim. And if it's left up to him, he'll stay another 20 years, right here in the warehouse. And Akram Malik is not the only one to feel this way. The company is a popular employer in the region. 
And because there are sometimes extra shifts or overtime, people use their breaks to relax and enjoy each other's company. It's an international staff united in their knowledge of how to manufacture the best paint in the world. One of the things I like about Kaim is that it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Here, you're only judged on the quality of your work. If you work well, you're a good guy. This atmosphere helps the company to be so successful. From Diedorf and Altenau, the branch factory near Berlin, this success knows no bounds. Nationally and internationally renowned buildings such as these demonstrate the high prestige associated with this world-recognized brand. Through the color kaleidoscope of these buildings, we return to the lab in Diedorf. This is where Herbert Prestley defines every color in the world and measures precisely its composition. Even years later, a paint can be mixed to match an existing color exactly. After all, you never know when Washington might call. Here in these boxes, you'll find the brush out for the White House. But is there really anything so special about that? It's just white paint, isn't it? Actually, the shade of the White House has a particular nuance. It's got a touch of ivory in it. White isn't just white, just as black isn't just black. There are hundreds of shades of white, each with different nuances. This, in any case, is white and bioseal. The standard silicate-based product is best suited to interior paintwork and carries an environmental seal for eco-friendliness. The paint manufacturing process at Keim is principally environmentally friendly in general, and it's done in an energy-efficient way. Producing outstanding end products requires first-class raw materials. If their quality, checked on delivery, is approved, they are pumped into the silos. Through a series of self-contained pipelines, the mineral fillers are carried cleanly to the heart of the company. The actual process of making paint begins in the main mixing installation. Only natural raw materials such as potassium silicate and quartz sand are used, one of the secrets of Keim's success. The manufacturing process housed in what's known as the tower is monitored by computers. Today, Keim, a subsidiary of Leonhard Moll AG, is the most modern mineral paint factory in Europe. The origin of today's formulas lies way back in a previous century, and they owe their name to an extraordinary character, scientist and pioneer, Adolf Wilhelm Keim. Germany, 1870. Keim is a genius who never stops experimenting. He spends hours and days in the lab, driven by his ambition to develop a new science of paint technology. His inventor's spirit urges him forward and allows no distractions. No setbacks may stand in his way. He is determined that mankind will benefit from his work. In 1878, Keim achieved his dream. He is awarded his longed-for patents for render, paint and mixing agents. Exceptionally long-lasting exterior decorations, like in Stein am Rhein in Switzerland, testifies today to Keim's vision and the success of his formulas for mineral paints. The luminosity of Keim's mineral paints endures because the paint does not simply lie on the surface of the render. Rather, the potassium water glass penetrates into the facade and permanently binds itself to the plaster. Preserve the beautiful, protect the worthy, care for the valuable remains the rule for those working every day in historic building conservation. I really like working with Keim products because their qualities are well known. Their weathering properties have been tested for over a hundred years. Keim has been working with many of these ingredients like potassium silicate, inorganic pigments and the solidifying agents for over a century. 
This illustrates to me their vast experience. For exterior work, there's nothing that compares. To be honest, there just isn't a better or more reliable product available. For decades now, the church decorator Peter Engelhard is convinced of the quality and luminosity of Kaim paints. The broad range of shades the firm offers was particularly important to him during his renovation work on the Grisail paintings in this chapel, built in 1748. Kaim paints have a very beautiful appearance. One gets very close to the frescoes. You get very close to the luminosity and what we call the lime luster effect caused by light refraction. This is particularly important in historic buildings like this one here. Patumba, the longed-for land, is the name of this magnificent building high above Lake Zurich. In 1883, a Swiss businessman who became wealthy in Sumatra built this new Renaissance-style villa. Giovanni Mengini looks after historic buildings in Zurich. For years now, he's been involved in the preservation of this architectural jewel. But the Villa Patumba is showing its age and is in need of restoration. One striking feature is the poor condition of the garden façade compared to the good condition of the side façade. On the side façade is Kaim's original formula paint base, but on the garden façade, rather than Kaim's render bases for painting, traditional lime render was used and then Kaim's pigments and water glass applied on top. This deviation from the formulation was to have significant consequences. Unfortunately, on the garden façade, this led to the formation of a hard top layer. This top layer was only loosely bound to the substrate. Due to wind, weathering and other environmental conditions, the surface is crumbling away. Layer by layer, the paint deteriorated, which is why it looks the way it does today. Keim in Switzerland and Germany, together with the Zurich Historic Buildings conservationists, supported the restoration. A few years ago, a sample row was created on the side façade. During the restoration, not only were new discoveries made, but secrets of Keim's render manufacturing, which had been lost in the war, were rediscovered. We asked Kaim if they would manufacture the render bases for painting especially for us, following the original patented formula. We were the first people in modern times to use this original formula. That was applied first, and it worked exactly as we had hoped. We also touched up the paint using Kaim mineral paints in B technique rather than A technique. And this combination of materials and techniques produced, in my opinion, the best possible results. The lab in Diedorf helped decisively during the restoration of Villa Patumba. Here in the analysis department, new and old render samples from all over Europe meet the hammer, belonging to Natalie Schindler or one of her colleagues. The samples are then subjected to various tests. Even the smallest piece can reveal a great deal of information. For Keim, this is an essential service. These cross-section cuts allow us to help our customers. We can see the composition of the render and the grain sizes. We can also see how many coats of paint there are and if any algae exist underneath the paint. The lab services stand for the consistent development and strengthening of Keim's patents. Today, they cover all the most modern painting substrates, such as concrete. Although tradition is important, Keim is a synonym for innovation. An unusually high level of customer service is offered in the company's own training center. Here, architects, contractors or building engineers can participate in seminars covering a wide range of topics. Whether it's advice on paint, color or building design, or a special examination of concrete constructions, customer satisfaction is the highest priority. 
the company takes on the role of partner and advisor to its clients. <laughs> and here's another example of customer service par excellence. Rudy Purpstel is at the scene of an emergency. Technical advisors like him are available throughout Germany. Together with the customer, he'll work out an expert solution. Today, Probstel has been called to the famous Augsburg Puppet Theater by their painting contractor. The paint is flaking off, a problem caused by rising damp. Renovation is required. The Keim representative offers advice based on his years of experience and keen eye for critical situations. The best thing we can do is replace the existing render with Keim Porson Rehabilitation Render. Keim paints resist even the toughest environmental conditions like ultraviolet radiation, air pollution, wind and rain. Some sections of these Euro-style houses in Altmühltal have been standing since the 12th century. Their architecture is typical of this Bavarian region, but for years nobody was interested until architect Paulus Eckerle looked at them more closely. Now he has renovated this former school to house a community center. Today is its opening, and practically the whole village has come along. Eckerle, who comes from this area, wants to develop this long-standing built environment. He emphasizes the simplicity of the buildings by using Keim paints and especially values the broad spectrum of delicate shades the company offers. With this style of building, the color is crucial. To non-experts, people who want to build their own home, these buildings may appear very reduced, cool and restrained. But I believe, for this style of architecture, this is absolutely correct. A harmonious interaction between color, nature, and architecture. An all-embracing living space. This is what architect Joachim Ebler and his wife, the color designer Barbara Ebler, want to achieve. For years they have preached the idea of sustainability and they themselves work towards wholly ecological architectural concepts. Here, in this residential estate near Ludwigsburg, there is just such a group of houses. They are painted with warm, semi-transparent orange tones. The building materials are natural and environmentally friendly. Those that live here should feel totally at home. Air, water, solar energy, they all play an important role for the couple. And they only build houses where they themselves would gladly live. The important thing is, is that Keim paints, meaning mineral paints, last much longer than synthetic coatings, acrylic or similar paints which gets dirty very quickly. With Keim paints, you have one or two renovation cycles less during the lifetime of a building. When it comes to sustainability, long-lasting paints are a priceless advantage. But the color should never be too loud. People must always come first. Barbara Abler uses the semi-transparent technique as a unifying element. I've been to housing complexes where residents have told me they feel as if they're permanently on holiday and don't ever need to go away anywhere. They feel very at home when there's an overall color concept, because when they experience this color atmosphere all around them, it's like a social togetherness. The paintings in the little village church in Boxberg are complete. Peter Engelhardt is content. The new interior is resplendent. There's just one last finishing touch. The cross, which he has newly gilded, needs to be put back on top of the church tower. Up there, it will defy rain, snow, and hot summer sun. The chapel won't need repainting again during Peter Engelhardt's working life, because, as we know, mineral paints from Keim last far longer than a lifetime. <laughs>